Hello, this is Dan Warren, um, back with another video. Um, today I'd like to talk about the rapture, the Antichrist, and the second coming. A lot of people are confusing some of those. Um, they're mixing them up, and this is very important to not do that. First, let's talk about the rapture. The rapture is when the Christians will be taken up by the Lord Jesus Christ and they will meet him in the air. This will create one of the biggest messes ever for those remaining on earth. You won't want to be here for that. You want to be taken up with Jesus in the rapture. Um, there's no downside to that, if, to be taken up. Meanwhile, on earth, we're, the Great Tribulation will begin. Well, there'll be three and a half years of peace and then the Great Tribulation. But you can read the details in the Bible. I highly encourage you to find to study the Word. You can go online and get a Bible. You can get a print copy of the Bible. Um, but uh, next I'd like to talk about the Antichrist. People think that when the rapture occurs, it could be it's the coming of Jesus, it's the second coming, it is not the same thing. Likewise, a lot of people are going to hear about the second coming and not be a Christian and assume that this new leader that's arriving on the scene who's going to say he can fix everything and will seem to have supernatural powers, will not be Jesus. This person will be the Antichrist. Right now, many people are lined up to fall into belief of this false leader, this false prophet, this Antichrist. The Jews are expecting a, a um, Messiah to come. The Islamic religion is expecting their Mahdi or the Messiah to come. They will fall for this Antichrist and they will, they will, if they follow him, they will be doomed. Their soul will be lost. They will take the mark of the beast and they will become Satan's forever. So, lastly, I want to talk about the second coming. This is when Jesus returns with the saints to set up a thousand-year reign. He will come. He will defeat all the armies of the world. And he will take over and become ruler of the world once and for all. We see so many things happening right now that fit right into the Bible prophecy. The Bible is real. Heaven is real. Hell is real. Jesus is real. The most important thing for you and your family right now is to make sure that you are saved. Your, your sins are, are washed clean by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. He came so you could have a, you could be a perfect, live in a perfect heaven that is without sin. There's no way anybody can go into heaven with sins on their, on their record because heaven is a holy and perfect place. All your sins need to be forgiven and washed clean. But that's why Jesus died on the cross, so you could do it, so you could be there with him. So please consider doing that right now. And you can do it right now. Just pray to him. Pray that you'll, your sins will be forgiven and that you will, you'll repent of them and you'll, so you can be in heaven forever and ever. If you'd like more information, on these subjects and other related subjects. Um, you can find um, 
more information on my other videos on this uh, channel and also on smashwords.com. Uh, those are all free. You just go in there and download whatever you want. Um, there's articles and there's some fiction and some um, other things that, that you might find of interest. And please smash the like button. And I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. It would help this channel quite a bit. Um, I'm going to pray for everyone listening. Thank you. Bye.